this is just a special technical program from my channel sponsored by Barrios, a true open source fork of Bacula for backing up VMs, database files, and more. And Omid Cloud, a Brazilian cloud provider with real autonomy, predictable costs, and support that speaks your language. Sign up now to get $300 in credits at the URL that I'm going to post it here. Okay, so this program is actually very quick. It's just to display how easy it's to install Barrios on a, an Oracle Linux 9 machine. Of course, I could have used it. Uh, Alma Linux, CentOS, Red Hat Linux, but I, I've chosen. And I'm going to do that uh, using the Omid Cloud, but you could use uh, VirtualBox, uh, Proxmox, VM. That would, would be also be very fine. And Barrios can work just a virtual machine and also as a physical machine, okay? So I'm going to share my screen right now, and we are going to move on. So Barrios, basically Barrios is a Bacula fork, but it's 100% open source. It has the same structure, such as the director, the storage daemon, and the file daemons, which are the backup agents or backup clients. How do you prefer? It contains also the plugins, such as the VMware plugin, Proxmox, Red Hat virtualization, and many others in order to backup virtual machines in image level. We also have the, back, the plugins to store backups in object storage, such as S3, and also to do to extract data and backup data also from object storage. So there are two plugins. Barrios also has plugins for PostgreSQL, MySQL, Microsoft SQL, and other databases, and also for NDNP and bare metal for Windows and very soon for Linux. Okay, so it's basically a complete backup system for your environment. Okay, the Barrios website it's barrios.com. So uh, anyone can access the website and perhaps you want to come here to analyze the models. You you have it's open source of course, but you can also by the subscription, which I recommend a lot because you have the support, you have more versions, packages ready for more operating systems and more various versions, okay? And the community version, you only have basically the source code or the repository for the current release, okay? We are not going to use this repository to install our Barrios server, but however, in the future, you might want to come here to download, for example, the Mac OS uh, packages for cl the client, which is the file daemon. And also, you might want to come here also to download the Windows file daemon for Barrios. Okay, here it's available the 24 version. It's uh, there is the 25 version coming very soon. Also, it will be published here. Okay, so basically this is it. As for my environment, as I told you, I'm using the Omid Cloud, which is a very nice, very easy to use uh, Oracle, uh, sorry, cloud service. Okay, so I created a small machine. It has eight gigabytes RAM and two cores as virtual CPUs. Okay. Um, it's very easy to create. You just come here, new VM, and you put the information and it creates everything. I can choose the disk size. I can also choose uh, from SSD, hybrid disks, whatever. It's very easy also to set up my network. And then I just created with an internal network and made also, uh, I did some port forwarding, okay, to access remotely to ports, just the, uh, SSH port, port 22, and also the uh, 80 port, which is the port to access the BIOS uh, graphical user interface by default. Okay, 
So I already, this is basically an, an Oracle Linux 9 installation. I did uh, Eon update because it's a good practice, you know, to start with uh, an updated system for safety reasons, right? You don't want to run uh, systems that are not fully updated anywhere. It's not, you have no reason for that. And then I'm going to run a script that I'm going to put available at the description of this video in YouTube. Okay, so you have access to that script. So basically, I'm going to uh, come to the root directory, Linux root directory. I'm going to download various uh, provided script, which adds the YAN repositories for various, okay, for the various packages also the graphical interface user interface okay so i'm just going to copy and paste it here of course i need to give the permissions and then you have the successful message saying that the repositories were added okay right now i'm going to uh, install the PostgreSQL server. I'm also going to, this is necessary to, to populate the data files directory in PostgreSQL, then start the service and enable it to start together with the machine every time the machine is rebooted. Okay, so this is very important because for backup, you, you always want the, the catalog the PostgreSQL Barrios catalog to run. Otherwise, Barrios won't work. The director won't work if the catalog is not running. Okay. So this is just a vanilla PostgreSQL installation. After that, we are going to install both meta packages, which are the Barrios and the Barrios. Uh, slash web UI, okay? Here, I'm also going to run the scripts who pre we, that prepare the catalog, such as the create barrios database, make barrios tables, and grant barrios privileges. And also, I'm going to enable all the barrios services to run when the machine starts. And this command here is necessary for the web UI to run smoothly, okay? So this is all in the from the Barrios installation manual, okay? I just put it a single script. You can put that on a script and run all together, just copy and paste, and it should work, okay? Now it's creating a database, the tables, and everything needed. Then this part is important. I just can't copy paste. Maybe I should have put a, an echo here to be consoled. But this is very interesting because uh, better than ba than Bacula, here you can configure stuff, uh, the, the system stuff via B console, which is the Barrios console. So there is a command here that we are going to use to create a resource, a console resource. And this is necessary for the create, to, in order to create a user for the graphical, in the web graphical interface, okay? So here I'm create, creating a user named admin with password access, X, you could put anything here, but I can create as many user that uh, as I like it, okay? And then it says here that it was created, it's just a text file, but it's much easier to create uh, using VI and other type of tools, okay? So it already, is, already does the the hard work for me okay and then i just need to reload to apply this new configuration again i could add as many users as i wanted for the web graphical interface 
and then I just leave that console, okay? Uh, then it is a good practice to restart the Apache server, okay? So to make sure everything is reloaded, it's important to pay attention to the firewall rules here. By default, Oracle Linux, Red Hat Linux, Alma Linux CentOS, they came with the firewall CMD service, okay, enabled. So I'm just adding here the ports 9101, which is the Bacula Director Console access. So if I want to access remotely the director via console, the console you can have in any machine at your own workstation, I need to open the port 9101. 9102 is the BIOS file daemon, the client, and 9103 is the storage daemon. Okay, and also I'm adding the AD port for the remote web user interface, interface access, okay? Then we are done. So it's very easy to install barriers, okay? Everything works out of the bo box and I think that is amazing, okay? Much easier to install than uh, the other alternatives. And you just, to access the web interface, to, uh, to put the IP address or host name slash barriers dash web UI. Okay, so I'm just going to put it here at my browser. Okay, my IP address. And then my beautiful interface, web interface appears. So just put the user that I created with the configure command on the console and the password. And then I have this very easy to use interface. The menu here, I can see my jobs, I can run a restore. Let's just run a backup job for fun, okay? I choose, of course, I don't have main jobs created. I just have a backup catalog, which backups the barriers on PostgreSQL catalog. And another backup job that I need to configure, that is, it's the backup of the own machine and the contents of that backup are defined in the file set configuration. So I have to check what's being backed up, but I can just run, okay? The file sets name is self-test. And then I can just run my first backup, okay? And I wait, okay? Status is waiting, but as soon as it's going to refresh and backups done, termination okay. So my backup was successful, okay? And then I have some actions here. I can rerun a failed job, for instance, or any job that I want, I can rerun how many times I want. I can restore from that job. So I think that's very easy and I can easily browse from my, from my file. So basically what the self-test file sets is backing up is just the USR directory in Linux, which is not very useful. But of course, I have to change the configuration here and start configuring my backup server, which we are going to cover in another in other videos. Okay. So keep tuned in our channel. Okay. Stay tuned and we are going to be publishing more videos regarding barriers, the configuration, the theory, the architecture, okay? So I hope you have enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.